There is no doubt about it, TikTok is gonna become the next Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook. With over 500 million active users in their first year compared to an app like Instagram that's been out for a couple years now and they have just over 1 billion monthly active users. Gary Vee said it himself. Yeah, everybody's, you know, I'm pushing everybody towards TikTok because it's the first platform since Snapchat and Instagram that could become Instagram and Facebook. It might not. It could stay forever as Musical.ly and TikTok, but it's starting to make me feel like it's going to go and become the new incumbent to Instagram. And if it does, first mover advantage will really matter. If you don't know what TikTok is, it's a social media platform revolving around videos. One thing I've noticed on TikTok is that the majority of users are using their phone to create their videos. So what better way to get onto TikTok and start creating awesome, great quality content on there so you can stand out. One way to do that is to record your videos on a high quality DSLR or even a point and shoot that's gonna be better quality than your phone. Throw it into an app like Final Cut Pro, upload it to TikTok. What's going on guys, Stefan Lombardi here, we're back with another video teaching you guys how to export your videos to create the best content out there. If you guys are new, hi, I'm Stefano Lombardo. I make video editing tutorials, photo editing tutorials, and travel vlogs. Those are soon to come. If you guys wanna see content like this, and if you guys like this video, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification button or that bell button to be notified when I post a new video. If you guys wanna skip watching this video, you guys can go down in the description. I will put in the video criteria that TikTok allows for video export onto their platform. So you guys can just head down there and read the instructions for yourself. If not, let's head over to the laptop and I'll show you guys just how to do it. So on the laptop, the software that I'm using is Final Cut Pro. You can use Premiere Pro. Stick with me here and we'll show you guys. First thing we need to do is create a new library. We'll go to File, New, Library, <clears throat> and we'll call this TikTok Video. Okay, now once you got the library made, you're gonna create a new project or a new sequence if you're using Premiere Pro. We're gonna call this the same thing, TikTok video. What I did was I went on TikTok and I downloaded a video because you wanna see the quality that TikTok is playing your videos at. You wanna see that resolution um, that they're playing your videos at so they don't compress your videos when you're exporting it, say in 1080 by 1920. So I downloaded a random video uh, from Gary V's TikTok. We're going to click get info on Mac properties if you're on Windows. And as you can see, when we scroll down, go to more info, they are playing our videos at 480 by 852, um, codecs at H264. So the resolution 480 by 852. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to video, custom, 480 by 852. Now the frame rate default is 29.97 or 30. Uh, everything else looks fine. Projection type normal, Apple ProRes 422, Rec 709, and there you go, now we have a black canvas that's set to 480 by 852, exactly the size of TikTok's resolution for videos and the resolution that they're gonna be playing your videos at. Okay, so now we have to import our video that we're gonna be uploading to TikTok. Now that we got the video in the timeline, we're gonna have to cut it down to TikTok's video length, which is 15 seconds. So if you're on Final Cut Pro, I know that if you bring the playhead over to the 15 second mark, We'll keep it at 14, 28. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and you have the snap feature turned on. You can just drag the end and it'll snap right to the playhead. And now we have a video that's 14 seconds and 28 milliseconds. Now, if you wanted to see the entire video, you can definitely go ahead and go to the rotation, turn on 90 and turn up that scale just to where you like it. 
Now the issue with this is nobody wants to turn their phone. It's too much work for them. TikTok doesn't even recommend that you upload a video in horizontal mode. They do recommend that everything is in vertical, you're holding it, uh, and that's where the video is playing. What we're gonna do and the main functions that we're gonna use is just position and scale. You're gonna grab the slider and turn up that scale. You wanna fill that entire canvas. In fact, in TikTok guidelines for their videos, it has to fill the entire canvas. They don't wanna see any of those annoying black bars in the way. So scale it all the way until you removed all the black bars. In my case, it was at 326%. Now the position is common sense. You just wanna move the video to where you want it to focus on. Since you can't play the entire fully wide video and it's limited to just that much, you need to pick a portion of the video where you want it to be played. Uh, X is obviously horizontal and Y is vertical. Okay, so this is not the best video, but we're gonna leave it here, the scale at 326 and the position at 196.9. Now TikTok recommends that you use sound and music in your videos. If you have a clip that does not have sound, you can just go ahead, download a free sound or download some stock royalty sounds and throw it on there. If not, you can save this footage, send it over to your phone, upload it on TikTok, and you can choose from a sound on TikTok. The video that I did import into Final Cut Pro is a 24 FPS video. When you're creating your project, make sure you set the resolution and the FPS to the TikTok standards. So keep it at 29.97 and set your resolution and then we'll scale up the video. So if you like the way the video looks now, we can go ahead and export it. We'll go up to the share looking button on the top right corner. We're gonna go master file. And we'll save it as TikTok video. Now you're gonna wanna look in the bottom left hand corner and make sure it says 480 by 852. That's the resolution we're using for TikTok and make sure that the FPS is 29.97. We're gonna head over to settings, make sure it looks all good here. Video codec is still H.264. It's very small, it's 18.6 megabytes. We're gonna save it. And there you go, so we have our video, great quality, ready to go on TikTok. So we'll airdrop this over to the iPhone and we'll upload it to TikTok. And now you guys have a excellent looking video that will set you guys apart from the others. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna use this. If you guys wanna see content like this and if you guys like this video, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification button or that bell button to be notified when I post a new video. If this helped you and you think it'll help others, make sure you guys share this video. It helps a lot. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram at Stefano A. Lombardo or my new Twitter account at The Real Lombardo to show your support and see videos like this in the future. Peace.